It's been an unusually sleepy campaign season in Massachusetts, but there is at least one statewide race that some think could be competitive. Thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Kim Kalunian. I'm Mike Montecalvo. 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi joins us now in studio with the story. The election for state auditor is about as low profile as it gets, yet it appears to be Bay State Republicans' best hope to avoid a shutout next Tuesday. You mentioned the, the pipelines. With polls showing Democrat Mara Healy holding a big lead over Republican Jeff Deal in the race for governor, Massachusetts Republicans are looking elsewhere on the ballot for their best chance to win. Look, I think trust is very important. That's put a spotlight on the race for state auditor, which pits Republican Anthony Amori against Democrat Diana DiZoglio. That show, but now it's a different story. Well, because it's the closest race that we have of the statewide offices in Massachusetts this year. Lisa Kashinsky covers Massachusetts for Politico. That Anthony Amore is the only moderate Republican who was nominated out of all of the Republicans running for statewide office. Amori and DiZoglio are vying to replace retiring three-term Democrat Suzanne Bump. The auditor is responsible for scrutinizing the operations of state agencies. I love the prospect of rooting out waste, fraud, and abuse. Again. Amori is a Rhode Island native who graduated from classical high school. He cites his years as head of security at Boston's Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. I think the idea of being able to deliver checks and balances on Beacon Hill uh, is unique. Amori is also the only statewide Republican nominee endorsed by outgoing GOP Governor Charlie Baker. I think that the voters, the unenrolls, the Democrats should look at me and say he's a moderate, he's experienced, he's skilled, he knows how to do the job. I don't think that there needs to be a Democratic check on the Republicans or a Republican check on the Democrats. I DiZoglio, a state senator, argues she's not beholden to her party. We need somebody who has an independent voice and an independent record. One of DiZoglio's top priorities, auditing her current colleagues in the state legislature. Hopefully that audit will not be refused and it will be welcomed. I think there are a lot of legislators who would love to see an audit of the state legislature so that we are better able to do our jobs. A recent survey by UMass Amherst showed DiZoglio polling below other Democrats on the ballot, but still leading Amori by double digits. Ted Nisi, 12 News.